Hey, yo, it's Burnlord, and welcome back to Rome Total Wars Apothians. Last time we uh, killed this guy over here. Uh, skirmish with some troops up here, and skirmish with some troops down here of the Armenians. Uh, basically, not really accomplishing too much. But, hopefully, today we can get Susa up to a large city and start producing some more Ivy League units, I guess you could call them. So, uh, Armenia will probably siege Seleucia next turn, but we should be able to defend that pretty handily, I think. Anyway, let's save and end the turn. Uh, just have our diplomat cruise up there for no apparent reason. And they are going to siege attack, like I said. So, like I predicted. So let's fight on the battle map. And defend for the honor of Parthia! The honor of Parthia! Yes, indeed. Extraordinary rains pretty generally fall after great battles. Yeah, it's, it's there's a there's a chance of it pretty much you know it's kind of you know it's a, it happens occasionally and sometimes pretty generally <laughs> nothing definite only Sith steal in absolutes remember but uh, we're gonna have our general back here of course and mm, gonna line up our Eastern infantry well actually what are we gonna do. Line for infantry like this. Put our general behind. Then we're going to have our team of horse archers here. Actually come out this way. And we're going to get behind them. And start shooting them. Uh, as they come into the city. Actually, what we should do is we, could go, we should go shoot down their general. What, what the heck? What are you doing? Hey. Hey. What? 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 What the actual... I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even want to know. But like I said, we'll swing out here do some damage. Um, towers... Wow, there's... Really, there's no tower on this wall. The only tower is right there, and that's not going to help us too much. This map does look pretty interesting, though. It's all sandy. Uh, can we see the hanging gardens in the distance? Maybe. Oh, is that the... Yeah, that's, almost, that's, that's the hanging gardens over there. You guys look, you see... Uh, I can kind of see it. You can see that little shape up there. I think that's the hanging gardens. I think so. Pretty cool. Yeah, you can see all the landmark. You can see all the landmarks if they're in, within vision range. Uh, on the map. On the battle map, which is, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool little touch. And you can actually fight next to them, too, but most of them are out of, like, a good combat area. Like, the Hang Gardens is in the middle of the desert. You know, the, not in places that you'd usually fight. But you don't usually get to see them, is what I'm saying, I guess. But we do now. It's all that matters. And a horse arch is going to steam across. Basically, our horse archers are going to break this up, uh, do some good damage. And hopefully, it'll help our men in the city do a little better. Although, see, against this army, I think we could, might be able to win with our garrison there anyway. But having a... What the heck? Come on. Having a little extra suppression never hurts, right? What are we firing at? Nice, nice back shots. Now we're going to be firing at this unit here. Alright, so, secondary goal here. We're going to tire out their general and weaken him down. Which would be pretty nice. Actually, we might be able to kill their general, to be quite honest. I just swing these horse archers around this way. And uh, have those horse archers run that way. We can definitely, definitely kill them. So, having two units of horse archers does make it very hard for the enemy to defeat you. Especially if they're infantry base. They're already warmed up. 
Uh, this tower will actually do some damage as well. So it'll be nice. And all in all, this is a pretty different style of siege defense than you're probably used to seeing on my channel. Simply because we have horse archers and they're not that useful in the city. And these guys are getting gutted. Getting gutted. Get out of here, Hillman. Doubly hard. Really? What the heck? How? How? How did you get caught? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. See, sometimes skirmish mode bjorks, which is really annoying. But you know what can you do? And if we can kill this general pretty quick, uh, we'll actually be able to pepper them as they try to get into the city, which is even even better. So I'm basically, I'm just going to manually control these guys. And they're charging. They're already winded. Uh, our men are winded, but they had to run all the way here. So it's understandable. And they're now they're charging this way. So they don't know what they're doing. They're disorganized. They're concerned over exposed flanks. I would be too. And a sandstorm is kicking up. Um, I'm not sure if that actually affects range attacking or not. It might, which is unfortunate. But if it does, that's okay. Now uh, what are they doing? Oh, they're running into the city now. Ah, well, that's not going to work out for you very well. We are just going to shoot you down. Uh. 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 I'm just going to walk our guys up here. And they'll just walk and shoot. Which is always nice. And look at these guys just get totally annihilated. Oh, man. That's not pretty. Well, it, it is pretty, in a way. It's carnage. Pretty carnage. Beautiful death. All right, let's try to get up to the walls here and see if we can't bombard. We'll do, we can just stand right here and we can probably just hit all these units, really. So that's pretty awesome. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Uh. No? Are they firing at these guys again? Yeah. It's actually good. I would rather you have, have you fire at the general. The general is going to be super weak. Easy to take out with our melee units. And I'm actually going to have my horse archers slide into the city here. Just because they'll be more accurate. When well, they don't have to fire over the wall. And uh, there's, they're pretty much clear, as far as room goes. We'll we'll be watching these guys though. If they try to counter us, we will, of course, move accordingly. But uh, there we go, getting some nice flanking shots off on these hillmen. That's what I like to see. And their general's actually going to come back and try to fight us. No, their general's routing. Awesome, nice, beautiful. But uh, since these guys are running, I'm actually, what we're actually going to do is run these guys. Oh, dead. Bonk. Okay, can we, can we form up in here? Is that allowed? Is that illegal? We're going to run in here and try to form up. And that should be able to get some good flank shots off. But, here come the enemy Eastern Infantry. And we'll be able to get... Oh my gosh, they're already routing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, enemy Eastern Infantry, why are you so bad? Alright, let's get some good... Get some good surround on these guys here. Oh, we're just cutting through these guys. Oh, the Hillman routed. Oh no. This is not looking good for... Uh... Armenia here. Okay, retreat, retreat. Retreat, I said. Get back to the town center! Come on! Move. Move your butts. Alright, so these guys are going to have some nice cleanup. Our horse archers. Going to be able to get in melee range here. Turn off fire at will. And uh, we'll just we'll just hit them in melee. 
Not sure what these guys are doing. Kind of glitching out. How? What, dude, how are we losing men? I don't know. But uh, there we go. Hunt those guys down, and we'll continue the battle. Of course, these guys just gave up. And that should be pretty good. So that, that was actually a really smooth siege defense there. I thought I thought we'd lose a lot more Eastern Infantry, to be honest. A couple hundred Eastern Infantry. But our Horse Archers were able to destroy their general. And hence bring a pretty easy end to them. And so Lucy is up. Oh, happy again. Okay, good. It's like, why are you so unhappy, bro? Brett, and we're making money again. He's got confident command. Very good. Uh, diplomatic information, Macedonia and Dacia now allies. Uh, that kind of puts us at odd at Macedonia because da if you're called Dacia, is at war with Scythia. And uh, they're allies, but I don't know. Not something we really have to worry about. And we've built an armor up here. So we can go for cavalry stables up here and actually build some Persian carve. But I'm not sure if we want to attack the... Uh, the Scythians yet because they are allies to us. They haven't really been bothering us at all, to be honest. So I don't really see a need. And uh looks like they're not they're not gonna come out and attack us. That's cool. That is very cool. But uh let's see how close we are. Oh, we gained a lot. So we're gaining about two hundred and fifty per turn. Uh it's gonna be like two hundred and sixty. So that's pretty cool. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, this army here, though, still still worrying me. If they decide to use it for anything. So as the Egyptian armies. I'm not sure what they're up to exactly. But, uh, yeah. Anytime they use them, they will be a threat. That you can be sure. And Pontus is trying really hard to take Sicilia here. I'm not sure if they're able to finish it off, though. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, it's on the turn, and I'm not... What was that diplomatic going to do? I don't know. No idea. Yeah, Armenia is just defending their borders there. Um, defending their... They're, they're basically just defending their borders. Kind of the same way we are. Which works out in our favor, definitely. Uh, diplomatic information... Nothing that interesting. Uh, all right, so we built that here. We can actually build an academy, which is really good. Academies uh, give your commanders actual good traits, so they're pretty useful in that regard. I think academy would be a good choice. So let's get that. Uh, Susa has built the Suez. Should be getting some good population growth now, and uh, we'll actually get. Um, yeah, I think I'll actually get a militia barracks. You can train some hillmen, too, for the army. And hillmen are pretty good, so... No uh, hating on that there. Did not retrain last turn. Probably should have. But we will now. No big deal. We're missing out on too many men. And uh, those horse archers got a lot of experience for doing that, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what this army is that's coming over, but I don't think they're going to be able to kill me. To be honest, um... Yeah, I, th I think I think we got. Th I, I think we could beat pretty much any two units with the amount of horse archers we got. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Um. Um. Yeah. Earthquake, huh? Oh, really? Really? So we have one of our cities flood, and we had an earthquake, which killed our cataphracts. Ugh, and killed a bunch of people in the settlement. Great. Wonderful. So Egypt decided to declare war. Not good. Not good at all. Hmm. Hmm. 
Uh, in that case, we're actually going to build stables up here. Because I'm going to use this. Zeus is going to pump out men to attack Egypt now. Because Egypt, major problem. Major problem. So we're actually going to start pumping out blacksmith up here. And other things. I wasn't really expecting Egypt to attack me like that. But uh, I, I kind of figured they might. Wasn't too sure. That's really unfortunate. Oh boy. Oh boy. And that army's not gonna not gonna go down easy. Yep. Wow. There's no way it could like Can we just like give up the city? Uh I wonder if I wonder if my diplomat can get down here in time to talk to him. Oh maybe. There's a uh, Egyptian diplomat. I want to see if I can just give him the city. <clears throat> Offer to give him the city. Instead of attacking. But no, they're going to attack. Oh, they attack down here too? What? Yeah, there's no point in even... F oh my gosh, look at these experiences. Yeah, there's no point in even fighting that one. Goodness gracious. I didn't even see him come down there. I guess they both attacked. Well, guys. Um. Yeah, it's not looking good all of a sudden. It's going to be a pretty short campaign. <laughs> uh, it could be. Depends. Just really all depends. Alright, city expands. There we go. Susa. Needed you to expand. Good. Start pumping out the Persian cab right now. Oh, they just came right in there. Did they have, like, elephants or something? What the heck? I don't know how they got in on the first turn. Probably had some elephants. That would be my guess. But, uh, yeah, that's not good. Although, financially, it doesn't really hurt us that much. It does make me a little bit uneasy. And I'm curious if... In fact, Armenia would want a ceasefire. I'm not... I, I think I think we can focus on Egypt and be okay. Well, I don't know. Mmm... Great. So, they did siege attack here. They have... Okay, so Nile Spearman. Pretty decent hoplites. Uh, Nubian Spearman... Standard militia hoplites got bowmen, which are okay. Skirmishers, slingers, desert cav, which are decent light cav. So they have a pretty good army of you know moderately successful troops. Uh, Egypt just is really capable of fielding really large armies of kind of weak troops early on. So that's what you got to be really careful. Of. But new these Nile spearmen are pretty good. So you got to be careful of those. Uh, we won't be winning this battle. Unless by some miracle, uh, our horse archers can kill their whole army. We will fight, though, and uh, try to survive a little bit. I don't know. Do as much damage as we can. Uh, we're going to lose a great general here today. And that really blows, but not much we could really do about it. I didn't even know that they're... Like, I thought they are going to take Damascus first. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, basically, we're just going to have two wings of horse archers come out. And that should be able to give us some nice suppression. Perhaps. Not sure. They do have bowmen, so they can't shoot back at us. And honestly, we're not going to be able to kill the bowmen because there's way too many of them. Um, so quite honestly, our horse archers are only going to do so much. And uh, they'll probably break into the city, take our gen kill our general, and take uh, the town pretty fast. Oh, Dawn. 
And it was looking so good. It was looking so good. But, you know what? If we can... Oh, nice. Nice. That'll help out. Give us another extra time, little extra shots with these guys. But, uh, it's it. The campaign's not over, guys. Um, we're gonna lose these small towns. Not a big deal. The big... Actually, the, the worst thing is losing this guy here. That's the worst part. But as far as losing the towns, I'm not too concerned. These are pretty worthless towns, to be honest. And losing them isn't too big of a blow. So, we're going to scoot on over here. you got to watch out for their slingers as well. They're pretty long range. Actually, we're going to put our men in loose formation so that uh, they can dodge missiles a little better. And they're going to send their cab, their cab after us. Interesting. Well, kind of expected, I guess. But we should be able to shoot them down pretty easily. Pretty nicely, at least. A little bit of damage on them, maybe? A little bit? There we go. Look at that. Uh. Uh. Come on. Retreat correctly, please. There we go. The walls are broken. The enemy are in the city. Now the fight will be oh, yeah? doubly hard. Oh yeah, you don't say. But uh look at look at this. We can just totally kill this slinger unit. In fact. Okay. I'm just gonna up and melee them. Cause they really can't stop me. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, never mind. They're routed. So, these guys can shoot in the back now. Should be... Oh, no, they're going to counter us with this cavalry. Gosh dang it, they're countering us with their cavalry. Who'd have thunk? But that is what you have to do against uh, horse archers and horse archer armies. You have to counter them with your cavalry. Because otherwise they're just going to run all over you. You have to pin them down, force them to attack the wrong targets. And, uh, oh, they caught... What? How did you get caught? How did you get caught? Oh my gosh. Sometimes, man. You're on skirmish mode. You shouldn't get caught by anything. These guys didn't get caught. I don't know what they did, but they didn't get caught. Uh, we can, however, go uh, take out some of these slingers here. In melee range, probably. Hopefully. Get an advantage there. And we lost our third unit. Uh. Uh. Alright. Nice. There we go. Good job, guys. Taking some toll on the Egyptian horde. And if we swing our men over here, we should be able to get some really good damage off. Just peppering these Egyptians in the back. Not too worried about killing these guys. Uh, I'm not sure where the rest of their army is, actually. Their general is here. We will have to kill their general, I think, first. We'll see. Nope, general's going to the city, too. Okay, good. Good. All right, they're engaging us in melee here. Oh, some of these bowmen actually made it back to the city center. Cool. But uh, let's actually melee fight these guys here. Because I'm pretty sure we can kill these guys in a good melee fight. I mean, come on. They're archers. They're archers. Unarmored archers. There we go. Oh, balls. Um, shoot these guys, please. I don't know what they're doing, but shoot them. And shoot them quick. Because my men are about to be surrounded. Alright, let's back up. Let's back up. Let's not risk it too much. We can do some good damage. I would be illusionary if, if I thought we could actually win. But we will be able to hurt them. And they can't really retrain in this city. Which is nice.
All right, so big battle in the center here. Our Cav versus their Cav. Uh, they have way more, so that's going to win automatically. Pretty much. And then they're, they're almost as good as ours, to be honest. Ours just have 2 HP. But they, it looks like they've already knocked through most of that first HP. Although they do have 4 silver, or a silver chevron now. But we're losing them pretty quickly. Although we are killing quite a few of them, actually. Surprised. Good job, guys. Oh, there we go. There it is. Actually. Oh my gosh, we got him. <laughs> we made their we made their general route. I'm gonna guess probably turn and run would be would be my guess. So let's try to get these guys in the city and maybe shoot at them a little bit before we lose. That'd be interesting. We have killed 38%, which is pretty impressive, I would say. And again, Egypt does field these pretty, pretty wimpy armies. Oh my gosh, we're routing them. Oh, wow. We're routing scathes of their units. We're murdering. Alright, just shoot. Just fire at him. Wow, they're routing so bad. All these really weak units here. Are just routing. That's really interesting. Oh, don't you route now. I guess our men are going to route. There we go. Wow, so we, we actually killed almost half of their army there. So I'm going to count that down as a little win. Uh, I'd say that's definitely worth it. See, we can do pretty good against them. Uh, horse archers do wreck the Egyptians pretty well because they don't have very well armored units. They have a lot of skirmishy units. So our one saving grace is that uh, we can win that way. And let's hope that we can. All right, let's talk to you guys. Do you want to see us fire? Little need. Okay. Okay. But you're not attacking me or anything. Oh, you want to, though. Okay. Whatever. Um. Oh, Seleucia is actually almost a city. That's pretty cool. Dacia and Gaul have an alliance. Settlement occupied. Yeah, yeah. Infernal Report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hero's Death. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we did finish this, which is pretty cool. We're working on a blacksmith so we can start training some uh, better units there. And we'll get more Persian Cav training over here. Let's keep them out these Persian Cav. Oh, uh, so good. 10, 8, 5, 12, 8. Or 10, 8, 12. You know, that's pretty good. Pretty good. That's uh, That counts as pretty good light Cav. As well as pretty good... Um, I'd say they're pretty good light cab as well as really good horse archers. Because uh, they do have armor, right? So they can take hits. Actually, they have quite a bit of armor. Eight armors. Not bad. So that's pretty cool. And uh, we do need some happiness up here. So we will build that for the happiness. And it shall be good, they said. But basically, we're going to try to rebuild from Susa. Uh, do we have a good commander around here, though? I guess he's going to have to do... He's going to he's gonna be the one to lead the charge against the Egyptians. Who are most likely going to come up from there. How, how are you going to... How are you going to have riots? How are you going to have riots in a city like that? I don't even know. But, uh... 
The problem is the Egyptians have all these little dinky towns and they can just send troops in. And the market's going to be like, oh, it's going to be really hard. I'm really glad Seleucids are our allies, though. That'll give us some reprieve. But, uh, I don't know if it'll really... Oh, jeez. Um, Seleucids lost that. If Seleucids lose that, they're probably done, to be honest. I don't know how big of a settlement that is, but, uh... Yeah, I don't think they're going to be doing too well after they lose that one. So I think we'll build four horse archers here. Have them retrained. Send them over here. And then maybe we can go attack the Armenians. Let's say. I'd say that's a good idea. Uh, pushing in the north will help give us extra funds. Give us more map control. You know, more threat awareness. Stuff like that. Will help out quite a bit. So... I think we'll save it. Already saved it. Did I save it? I don't know. Save it, end the turn. Probably the last turn of this episode. And they're going to siege us again, but I don't know what that army has. Really? 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 Oh, Germania and Gaul gone no more. Cool. Persian cab built. Frasta has finished some stables. So we can retrain these horsemen. Uh, basically, basically, I want stables there so we can have a resupply center a little closer. Mainly the reason. And Governor's Palace here, actually. Nice. So Seleucia will become a nice city. That should help out the happiness. That'll get rid of a lot of the culture penalty. And losing quite a bit of money, actually. Actually, we are losing quite a bit of money. It's not good. Not good. Probably don't have enough uh, tax base to really support too many troops at this era. Especially cataphracts. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But, anyway. Thanks for watching this episode of Rome to the War as the Parthians. Enjoy us next time as uh, Tespas of Nipper attacks Captain Prusius of the Armenians. So, thanks for watching. Burn Lord signing out. Have a good